Yesterday, I didn't see that many bands. Um, I saw Miss May I. I uh, didn't know really what to expect, but they were pretty cool. Uh, then um, went and got a bit drunk and came back for Avengers Tenfold and uh, all the bands I want to see are really today. We saw The Offspring, The Offspring were good. Uh, we saw Crossfave and I hate Avengers Tenfold. Easily baby Godzilla because yes. they went <laughs> fucking mental. The, the rhythm guitarist <laughs> Kate went out of the tent and stood on a bin and was playing <laughs> guitar and the stewards were chasing him and that's what every band should be. Yeah. Off their tits or just generally fucking crazy but it was it was a show, it was a full on show. My main band was Offspring, but the standout with Black Label Salt, I mean, great looking bloke. In the mind, not at the front, but there were a lot of good bands, a lot of good bands. But Offspring, I think, would be the main band for me. I saw Opeth, they played on the Pepsi Max stage. Uh, they played a lot of heavier stuff, and I finally got to see them play a song called Deliverance, which was incredible. Uh, then I went off to see the Offspring absolutely kill it on the second stage. Uh, they played Smash in full. Which was just brilliant. And then hit after hit after hit. A, a great set from the Osprey. The best one of yesterday was definitely Crossfave. I hadn't seen them live before, but I didn't even really know about them, but they put on a really good show yesterday. It was really good. I thought they were actually incredible. I didn't know they were going to be that good. And uh, I didn't know if they were like, on the level there that they could actually headline download, but they were, they were absolutely amazing. We all loved them. And since the game's absolutely shredding it, man, they're amazing, yeah. A lot of pressure on Avenged Sevenfold, obviously, because there's a lot of talk around at the moment, isn't there? Who's the next big headliner? You know, are we going to get the next big band? And that talk's been going around for 10 years. So, Avenged, for, so for Avenged Sevenfold to step up to that plate, you know, not only as a band, but with all that I did on as well, I thought they actually did very well. Uh, and they lived up to the hype. And uh, I think we will have more headliners like that. If we keep producing bands like Avenged Sevenfold, uh, then we're going to have lots of new bands headlining Download Festival and other festivals in the future. It was a good choice, but that, if, if I had to moan, that would be the only clash problem I had was Avenged and Offspring, because I do like both bands. The rest is quite simple, but they're definitely worth headlining out, definitely, yeah. It's kind of an interesting juxtaposition last night. Uh, you know, you had Opeth on one stage and Avenged on another and uh, pretty much the entire spectrum of heavy music in between. Obviously, two very divided crowds, but you know, the interesting thing was listening to a bit of Opeth and hearing a bit of events coming through, I, I had to go over and check it out, you know? There's been a lot of questions raised over whether they kind of, they fit in with the sort of heritage that they're stepping into as a main stage headliner at Download Festival and indeed Donington. The truth is, I think the naysayers are wrong, man. They're a phenomenal, phenomenal live band. You can't take it away from them. The only thing they lack it's 30, 35 years of mythology that a lot of these other headliners have. And so they're younger, but you got to give this generation their own heroes. And that's what events of Fold really are. Amazing. 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 Yeah, good luck. <laughs>